Welcome to our video on graduated cylinders. Now a graduated cylinder is a tool used to measure liquid volume. Okay, now we have three right here. One that is used to measure 50 milliliters, one that is used to measure up to 10 milliliters, and one here that's used to measure up to 100 milliliters. Okay, and you need to look carefully at the numbers on the side. Sometimes they go up by one, sometimes they go up by fives, um, by tens, or even sometimes even fractions of a milliliter. So be very careful when you're making your measurements. Now, nice little trick on how to remember what the name is. If you take off the little top, bottom, the base, okay, it looks like a little graduation cap. So you can put that on your head, right? Pretend you graduated, and then you have the cylinder, which is the shape. So just a nice little trick on how to remember the graduated cylinder. Now let's take a look at how to use one. Okay, same picture, however, take a look at the numbers. I want to show you this, because not all graduated cylinders have the same numbering system. In this case, we have one milliliter, two milliliters, and three milliliters. Now we look at the bottom of the meniscus, okay, and now again, the highs part, right, is at two milliliters. However, that is not the measurement. We want to look at the bottom. If we make a dotted line across here, maybe to help us out, we see that it's between one and two, and there's a little half mark. And so it's actually going to be 1.5 milliliters. So be very careful looking at your measurements. Okay, not all graduated cylinders are the same. Here we have four graduated cylinders for practice. Hit pause and try to figure out the numbers by yourself before continuing. Let's take a look at each graduated cylinder. Hopefully, you got for the first one, our number is 35 milliliters. And we found that because we know the number is between 30 and 40. It's at the bottom of the curve of the meniscus. We need to figure out what that value is. If we look, each little line represents one. So our correct answer is 35 milliliters. How about the second one? What did you get? I'm hoping you got 13 milliliters. Same thing. We went up by ones. There's that bottom of the meniscus. I'm just going to fill this in so we can see that it continues by whole numbers. Our number is 13 milliliters. Now the third graduated cylinder got a little harder. If you're looking, we know the number is between six and seven, so it can't go by one. Instead, it's going to go by point two milliliters. So it must be a smaller graduated cylinder. And we look at the bottom of the meniscus right here, we know it's 6.6 .6 milliliters. And our last graduated cylinder here, number four, again the numbering systems change a little bit. If you look at this example here, I know it's above the water line, it goes from 40 to 50. So it's kind of a leap here, but each Little line is worth 2, 44, 46, 48. So if we go downward, we know we're going to go down by 2. So we know our answer is 38 milliliters. I hope that helped. Now, a graduated cylinder can be helpful in finding the volume of a solid object as well. Take this graduated cylinder, it has 40 milliliters of water. And let's say we have an object that has an irregular shape, not a cube, not a sphere, but a regular shape, such as a fidget spinner. How do we find the volume? Now let's think this through. If we take the fidget spinner and we put it in the water, we're gonna see something. We're gonna see the water level move up. And we're gonna call that displacement. So here we go, let's take the fidget spinner We'll place it in the water. And now you're going to see the water level rise. So we're displacing, we're moving that water. Right, think about it. the water that was in the space of the fidget spinner has now been pushed or moved or displaced upward. So our new measurement of water, our meniscus, is at 70 milliliters. So with that being said, if we know the water changed to 70 milliliters, what is the volume of our fidget spinner or our irregular object? 
That's right, it's 70 minus 40 milliliters, and we get our answer of 30 milliliters.